moved here about a year ago and we moved too late to be able to do any landscaping at that point because it was the end of June. Um, we were still getting everything moved in. And so this year was the year that we were, we've been waiting for to do the work in the summer. And, you know, I was looking for um, a landscaper and we really don't have a lot of connections out here. So we didn't know where to start. And my husband went and got some referrals and we had um, some people out and I, I wasn't real happy with the response time. Um, it seemed to be like I was waiting forever um, for anybody to get back to me. And it also wasn't as professional as what I expected. So then when I went online, I was really looking for somebody who would um, be professional, who had a designer involved. Um, I went to school myself for interior design, so I understand the importance of having a designer. Um, and, you know, we found Rooney Landscaping, and they were working with John, and John's very professional, and the online reviews were good, and I watched a little testimonial, and I thought, you know, this looks like a pretty good outfit. So I um, gave him a call, and he came out, and they were prompt, and I thought um, we had a really good start. We, we met with him um, and I went through and gave him all my ideas of what I wanted, the kinds of plants and the kind of experience I wanted our backyard to be. And um, he was very responsive to that. But what I thought was really neat was seeing his design brain work on spot where I would be talking about like our family is big and um, you know we're going to be entertaining back here a fair amount of people, a lot of times 25 to 50. And so he looked at this back paved area and said, this isn't big enough, and carved out a whole other section, which I wouldn't have thought of myself to do. I would have just figured put them in the grass um, or, you know, the backyard's big enough. But he had a really good point. And so we have another paved section that we're doing. And um, then my vegetable garden, I talked about the dog. We have a dog and he pees on things. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to have my vegetables you know, soiled. So we're having the vegetable garden raised three feet. And then he thought of the idea of putting a lattice above that to act as a, you know, something that the plants can climb on, like the pole beans and the sturgeon and stuff. And using the garage, which isn't going to go anywhere, as a backdrop, which is a way to incorporate something that's not going to move and we have to deal with anyways. And I thought, you know, it was, it was really some genius design work. I could see there was a right way to do it, and these guys knew what they were doing. They were very good, very thorough, um, and they had all their big tools here and machines, and it was neat. My son was very interested in it. And then they started building the um, fire pit, and that was great, and the guy, um, the gas guy came out, and he wired the gas over, and um, what I thought was good, too, is the way that everybody was organized, um, and what I mean by that is the we knew we were going to have sprinklers and we tried to do everything at, at this one time so that we wouldn't have to be digging things up later or spend a lot of money doing it after the fact. We figured if we were doing all this work we might do, just do it all at once and that makes the most sense. So they put um, a sleeve underneath these pavers for irrigation and for anything else like if we wanted to do outdoor lighting later on. In the beginning where I thought that it was so crucial to have one of you guys out here every single day and, and, you know, crazy thoughts that you'd be out here all day or, you know, for more than just a few minutes, but um, it really wasn't necessary because the guys are that good. And, you know, I don't know that that's common. I think I've heard stories of, uh, you know, different scenarios where people leave and everything dies or they don't get uh, good care instructions or things aren't really done the right way. Um, and I think that they were in this case, so I feel pretty good about it. Um, one of the things that came up, and you know, like I said before, there's always something that comes up in the installation that you don't bank on in the beginning, um, was some of the drainage issues. And we had new gutters put on our house because there's an excessive amount of water that comes down here in a rainstorm, and we've had a lot of rain this summer. Um, so what happens is it comes down and um, it floods out different areas and it, they were real careful to make sure that there were drain tiles and drainage coming out of the different gutters and areas and even at the end we had to add one in over here and there was a bunch of moisture on the side of the house and they actually at the end made a channel and a groove so that the water would go all the way out to the street. 
which um, was the best solution. And you know, it was something that wasn't worked into the original proposal, but was not an additional cost. Well, when it comes to Rooney Landscape, I would say it's definitely a turnkey operation where it's a full service production. You have the designer, you have um, the owner, everybody's involved, the individual groups of people who specialize in um, their, their services. Um, you know, and it's really something that is a peace of mind when you have a project this large and this involved with many, many details. Um, it's good to know that they're going to be covered.